Um, so that, so, you know, God, God says that they broke the covenant, that the co the law was broken, um, and it was man's fault. It was Israel's fault because the Gentiles are never given the law. Um, and Paul makes it clear there too because uh, Paul says in Romans chapter 5 that you know that you know people from the time from uh, Adam to Moses you know men perished even though they did not have a law and actually you know you can look at the whole Gentile world you know that didn't have a law and um, actually probably until like the time of Christ uh, you know when the church you know started you know presenting the Ten Commandments and whatnot you know and the Gentile world for the most part took you know took faith in the, the, the Ten Commandments and whatnot um, which wow that's interesting because the Bible does say that the, that the Gentiles will put their hope in the Messiah but anyhow um, and that you know the Messiah would lead them to to the true God but uh you know they all perished without the law as well so that speaks strongly of the fallen nature of man and so I would, I would like to know what you, what you have to say about that um, and I look forward to this uh, having a dialogue with you because um, I would really like to um, share some things I, I will say this in this video I'll probably you know expound on it some more in later videos um you said in an early video you know when you're talking about you know Jeff and the hypostatic union and all that I'm not going to get into the hypostatic union right now um but uh you know I made the comment about why are you going to Jeff with that because Jeff is not a theologian he's not even an apologist um I really don't think that Jeff could uh defend the gospel you know if he tried um I'm not trying to knock Jeff it's just like if you want theological answers like I said you know you're better going to Pastor George or, or radi you know radical rabbi and you know what I'll even say this you know because this is what I really want to say if you want to know New Testament doctrine read the New Testament and in particular you know, I'm sure it's not lost on you, though you might argue the point. But um, you know, all the New Testament writers, with the possible exception of Luke, who wrote the Gospel of Luke and Acts, um, and that's debatable with him. But all the rest of them were Jews. You know, they were of the tribes of Israel. You know, and so you know they were Jewish, and. Uh, the Christianity has its root in Judaism so um, the the big difference is this that the you know we believe that Jesus Christ is the Jewish Messiah and I'll be doing a video on that to, you know hopefully you know try to, to prove that from the Old Testament scriptures how Jesus Christ is the only person that the scriptures allow to be the Messiah um, but uh you know, especially the words of Paul, Paul especially, but I would say in particular uh, Hebrews. Hebrews is a good one. I mean, if you, you did the whole thing about the, you know, the the sacrifice and Jesus was not an adequate sacrifice. Well, you know, I would point you to the book of Hebrews. You know, read the book of Hebrews um, and see what the writer of Hebrews has to say about that. Um, you know, and Paul has a lot to say about the law. You know, which I'm not going to go into right here, but you know, he basically said that the law was there to point you to Christ, and you know, I agree with you on the whole issue of repentance. You should genuinely repent, and and you know, the the, the gospel writers, you know, the, the Jesus and the apostles would agree with you too. It's just the thing about it is, you know, you have to believe. You know, God. You know, Paul goes to great lengths to show us. You know how Abraham was justified by faith, and he says, you know, Abraham believed God and it was credited unto him as righteousness. Um, now, the, the the thing about it is this, okay? Um, 
Moses told Israel that, that God raised up a prophet like unto him and him ye shall hear and he anyone who does not hear him this prophet that was to come will be cut off from among his people anyone anyone who does not hear this prophet anyone who does not receive this prophet will be cut off from among his people now Peter applies that scripture to Jesus of Nazareth okay and this is important because I don't know what all you guys hold to you know what is messianic and what isn't messianic what's a messianic prophecy what isn't a messianic prophecy obviously you can read in the in, in the gospel accounts it's clear that the Jews in that day differentiated between the prophet capital P that Moses is talking about and the Messiah uh, the New Testament writers make them one and the same person in, in Jesus Christ um, but it's very clear though that you know whoever does not believe in that prophet will be cut off from among his people and if that's the Messiah then um, and, and if that Messiah is Jesus of Nazareth then um, uh, you got a problem there you know because uh, you know basically uh, you have rejected the Messiah and um, you know, I know the Jewish expectation is with the temple, and they're still waiting upon the Messiah. And there's different people being thrown out as the Messiah. Um, you, you had a, a picture of a guy on your old website uh, account. You know that, that I, I've know that people claim that he's the Messiah. Um, you know, so but you know it, it's a very important thing because uh you know the, the the messiah is the one that's supposed to lead everybody into all truth and uh he's the only one that can adequately um expound upon the word of god you know and again the bible you know the new testament says that jesus is the living word of god that he is the he is the word of god you know that he speaks the words of god you know, like he is the epitome of that, what the Old Testament prophets were. And I also understand, you, maybe you can clarify this or not, but from my understanding in Jewish tradition that, you know, the, the rabbis, the, the, the um, Talmud was given um, priority over to the, the Old Testament, the Tanakh, um, that, the, that the rabbinical teachings is actually seen as being more um, more uh, having more weight or whatever than um, the actual scriptures so I, I would I would want to know what you you say about that because I'd like to know whether that's true or not um, but anyhow I'm, this is a but man Christ um, and uh, just wishing you all God bless and um, I hope I hear a response from you soon. Okay, God bless. Bye.